Are you guys excited that's to so much work for I am. Me. No. That's so much work for me. I'm sorry. Well, you know I'm what? Gonna, I'm on vacation. <laughs> We're going to be seeing the telly. Yeah, help, us, help us sip in mojitos right there in the sun. Oh, man. I should get one of those. All right. You guys have fun. Cloud? With Bye. Cloud strike? Okay. I was going to make a comment about the fact that Numbleys is playing good Mario Maker right now instead of, you know, actually participating. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's on the screen. Yo, F numbers. Yeah. We don't miss you, Numbleys. And by F, I mean have fun. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the F is for fun. <laughs> So right now, Ralphie going to be opting for Cloud, and Vivi going to be playing Telly, which is interesting. I've seen him messing on with Telly before. Never really saw him pull it out and bracket before, though. Um, yeah. Uh, ooh, nice limit cross flush right there. But now you just gave him go. So mm -hmm. <laughs> balls in your balls in your court. <laughs> Ralphie had the right idea. You saw him back up. He was waiting for the over extension oh. from Vivi, but was still unable to find it. And that was a really interesting knockback. I'm really surprised that Vivi just did not get popped oh, up there. Wrong way. Just trying to mash out Geyser right here to take the quick stock. Ooh. I mean, Geyser, that move is massive. It's surprisingly safe. Like, like that that move is, is terrifying to get to get hit with. Yeah. It reminds me of uh, Zangief, Siberian Blizzard. Don't jump the button. The move. I like the aggressive recovery from Vivi. That was a little super, super smart knowing that Ralph was going to go off for an edge guard there. And the back here, surprisingly not able to take the stock quite yet. You have to remember how deceptively heavy uh, Terry can be. Oh, that was a good delay on a recovery from that Vivi was, right there to, to avoid this. So. Yeah, that, that was delicious. And he kept go. You got to keep this go real quick. You got to take at least 60. Oh, gets poked. Mm -hmm. well, I think I think DD dropped the shield. He wasn't expecting uh, Ralph to throw out another option after, sitting, after hitting his shield. I'm like, that's generally the mix-up with Cloud. They try to hit your shield with, like, back hill, forward hill, and then they throw out another F tilt or up tilt just to see, like, how you respond out of shield. Um, so, yeah, I guess like... Vivi just didn't anticipate that. Oh, that was a nice approach right there with the, with the B. Neutral B. Good up B to, uh, to catch uh, whatever he's going to do on that platform. Get a quick little damage. Yeah. I'm noticing like this uh this play from Vivi is like old school pop yeah, stuff or yeah. or he's he's using his, his game plan and play a gameplay just to get lemon naturally instead of charging it himself. It's pretty good to to do even nowadays. Maybe if I got cloud uh, could lose limit now in like 15 seconds. Gameplay. It's gonna be the kill code for him. Jab jab bust him. Down tilt too. That was. Oh, that was from down tilt. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so sitting at 104 points, oh, still gonna be God. relatively 54. The wrong what way. happened? Buffering it too hard, he aimed the wrong way with that. It's crazy too how Terry auto corrects because he's facing the opponent one v one, but like. But doesn't auto correct uh, Buster Wolf or Power Geyser? It's just very power easy geyser. to do the input the wrong way because of oh, the, the way that it's set up. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Right now, I still feel like this is anybody's game. You just saw VVB just outside of the range for the down tilt, so not be able to punish it. Um, Good for him. Ooh, nice save there. It's, just, it's interesting that we see neither of these players actually go through much projectile play, right? Normally, like, Cloud tried to condition with the... Goodness, his... his Neutral B, or, or like the same thing with Telly, and we're just not seeing either of those come out from either player. They're both playing really up close and personal, oh, but the limit cross slash not going to kill yet from across the stage. <laughs> just raw. Buster Wolf, like, when I get back on stage, I like that. See, now, when you mentioned the projectile game not being into play here, is something I noticed on their playstyles. Good stuff to VV taking that game. What was that game? <laughs> what was that? You know, yeah, Terry is one hundred percent on the hold forward game. This is a, this is a hold forward kind of day. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's that's what I was gonna bring up. Uh, both of them are playing in a way where, like, if you if one of them were to throw the projectile, they'd get heavily punished for it. So they have to play around each other in a way where it's just like they're they're fighting, not like shooting each other. <laughs> I'm really happy we waited for this because this is like the most like <laughs> this is like the most bare knuckles brawl kind of match you could possibly have on stream yeah. right now. 
after like three matches of like rats and like just people <laughs> jumping around. Yeah, people try, jumping around trying to hit each other and people actually hitting each other. <laughs> <laughs> just that's, okay. that's just the nature of the characters though, so it's, you can't really blame them. You know, it's like, you can't, you have to play your character to your character's strengths. If your character's strengths don't involve getting hit or don't involve uh, taking hits, you can't really like fault someone for not wanting to do that. But jumping into game two, All right. I'm not game sure two. what stage they're going to be opting for because honestly, neither of them took, I want to say neither of them took much advantage of the stage. Same they both kind of ran, ran in each other's faces a little bit and, and press buttons. But now we see Ralphie playing back a little bit more, waiting for Vivi to push in. Um, but Vivi was very, very patient with how he did it. Ooh, we're from the down right there. Ralph trying to call out a double jump with perhaps a power dunk from uh, Vivi, though not able to find it. But right now he's holding the corner super, super well. Oh, we'll missed put from Vivi right there, taking his stock away. That yeah, was unfortunate. But it's okay. If he can yeah, manage he to the, like... uh, get into the hard input on that one, so that's why he went basically nowhere for Ooh, hard input is what, is what puts you up over the ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're not seeing a whole lot of like anti airs for, on on Vivi's part. Like, I feel like Ralph was sort of just like able to jump in on him um, with the back airs or with the or with the forward airs, and Vivi seems to be respecting that uh, for the most part. Yeah, I'm noticing that Vivi uh, not getting a chance to take advantage of Terry's forward air. Pretty good option to get started on his game plan. And just to... goes through the up I don't. Yeah, I don't know what he's trying to cover with that. Honestly. We'll confirm. Oh, I yeah, could have a chance to power gauge right there. He's right Terry's above death tilt is menacing. That move is so scary. But hanging on free ledge a little bit too long, gonna be scooped up by the dash attack. Um, I think someone made the comparison to Terry's uh, forward tilt and forward air as swords. He's got sword feet. Mm, good SDI from Val. I'm able to avoid the power dunk. And good pressure too, as uh, Vivi's trying to to jab his way out of it, uh, to, jab, to jab his way out of it. But Almost dashed it, just barely shielded in time. That is so scary. Whenever you see Terry's app smashing like that, um, and you're shielding in front of him, that's a bait. Because that move, like, if you go into it, that move, like, has a deceptively huge hitbox. Like, that, that there's a lot that you have to wow. respect about that move. Did that just hit on the ledge or did yes. jump that was, a, that was interesting to see here, then it killed. This could be a momentum changer for Vivi, getting all his combos in though. Mm -hmm. Solid Quinn has it for some damage. Yeah, and you know, despite the fact that he basically SD a super low percent game one, Vivi, uh, stock one, Vivi has brought this all the way back. He is doing a really good job, but right now he's just struggling to land against Ralph. You see him not wanting to push in too far. He doesn't want to get hit with the limit, but now that Ralph has lost that, um, yeah, definitely the pressure is on. Yeah, Vivi doing a good job of the stock of avoiding most of the cloud stuff right now. It's at 100 on his last stock right here, he has to be careful. Ooh. Ah, and actually good up And the anti-air power gazer to take the stock. Oh, this could be oh, it. Oh wait, I thought I thought that was Ralph's last stock. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's still one more. <laughs> And now it's within the realm of possibility for Vivi. I thought he ended the game Super. right there. With go right now, like one solid confirm near the ledge or, or anything, could kill. Yeah, and, and he's heavy too, it's a little, like a little bit against Cloud's uh, moves. And like go is like a mechanic that can like inherently snowball just because of like how in conjunction with rage, Terry can kill you ridiculously early. Right. <gasps> the gays are taking up. Almost, so, so almost. Close. He's looking for the dash attack. He's looking for anything. It's gonna power it up his shield. Oh, I almost confirmed it. What? What? Oh, that's gonna take it. No, not like this. Yeah. Not like this. Oh no. Ah. The multi-hit shot right there from the neutral, uh, neutral B. The limit neutral B right there. It's gonna take it. It is only a matter of time. <laughs> Uh, that was really unfortunate. Vivi was making the comeback. 
Yeah, oh, but that, then at the last like, minute, that was like a panicky defensive option. Yeah, missing the confirm off of that uh, up tilt, like that was it. He had like all the chances to input it there, but then he just didn't come out. I believe they're gonna go right back into PS2. This is definitely one of those matches where it's like it's not the stage. Yeah, it's not the it's stage. Afraid. And you know, like Vivi, like really good on Ralph to be able to hold that lead and just to be able to secure it in the end. And really good on Vivi. I just want to say, for like, despite the fact that he has did so early, you know, uh, as help, like you mentioned, he didn't get the hard input of the power dunk. Um, he lost the stock super, super early. He was able to make it so close. Um, but then at the end, just one panicky like defensive option uh, is what caused him to lose that set. Really unfortunate. Yeah, looking back at that replay, uh, Game. Power Gauge it definitely would have hit there if it put it early enough. Mm -hmm. so I like to... having to buffer it. <laughs> Game to... I love how both of them just back off immediately in neutral. Like we saw both of them drop down and back off thinking that both of them were going to extend. Um, both of them really want to be playing it safe right now. Ooh, the whiff of the LB right there. How much for the punish bar? Mm -hmm. You're on that platform, you gotta be careful. Ralph Ooh. above him. Yeah, look, look at that. He gave Ralph just the right amount of space to beat him into pushing in. And he was like, okay, I'm gonna F still T for this. <laughs> Ralph with a uh, limit right now. Very scary thing mm -hmm. to fight. Oh, good good dodge there by Vivi just, just to jump over it. That's kind of like a slowish projectile to see coming at you, so you have all the time in the world to jump over. Yeah, this is definitely Ralph's uh, stock to take, but Vivi actually recovering really, really smartly. I think Ralph could have maybe pushed in a little bit farther, but the back here at the edge of the stage is going to be able to take it. So, like, throughout, you know, this is like the first time I've actually seen back here kill Vivi. Almost every single time it would just barely kill him, only because Ralph he spaced it at the ledge. Like, he knew yeah. that this is where I should be using this, not at the center of stage. Still no problem for Vivi, as uh, if, even if Vivi would be down like two stocks right here, as like he proved the last game, he's able to bring it back. So as long as he quote unquote farms go right here, <laughs> he could definitely Ralph's, start bringing things back. Ralph's ledge trapping right now is super, super good. We just saw like how much percent VV took just a, like, you know, hanging alone. Um, his goals are getting really, are, are getting good super, super well. Yeah, Vivi might just want to consider being a little bit more patient when he's getting back to stage. That was a good shield though, but going off stage like that's so risky. Oh, off stage there. Yeah. Clearly, clearly take the stock right there. So yeah, he went off stage for like the drop down uh, neutral aid, instead of just like controlling in, in, in the ledge and trying to maybe ledge trap Ooh, a little bit. The charge up B. Nice. Charge rising tactic, take that first stock. Very strong move right there. Roll through it, he rolls through the cross slash, he just, you know, F tilt and dash attacks and forward. He took 31%. That's, that's a lot of damage for the two hit confirm. Still not a problem for Vivi, it's like he'd probably better for more from getting goal right now just to, just to start taking stocks real fast. It's just a matter of trying to recover against Cloud when he has limit and all the advantage in the world right now. Ralph is holding on to the sledge super well. I like the fact that he's not pushing off, he's not jumping off stage right now. He's just... Oh, oh. not close enough. Is that charged? It's not charged. It's not charged. That's unfortunate. And Ralphie takes it. Moving on to winner's semis. Yeah, um, I think Vivi might have lost some steam a little bit later on in the set. I think Ralphie started playing a little bit more out of shield. He noticed that Vivi just started kind of jumping into him, um, I want to say. And I think Vivi just struggled to call out the times um, Ralph would jump in on him. Right? Like we saw, like he'd land with forward or back here on his shield, then throw out an F tilt, up tilt, and Vivi would basically let that go completely unanswered. Um, yeah. So now that means we're going to be seeing Lai and Ralphie in Winner Semis. And on the other side of Winner Semis, uh, it's going to be WebJP and Cog. And I think WebJP yeah. and Cog is being played off stream. No, we're both playing the monster stream. No, 